I'm excited. <clears throat> And you said you do another, just a little, another check. Just yep, check, check, check. One, two, three. Yep, I sound really great. This is a great room. Okay. All right, and um, we're rolling already. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, episode three, uh, Macy Gray, I Blow Bubbles When You Are Not Here. Okay. Well, I'm excited today. I know um, this is our third episode already. It seems so quick. Um, and this is one where it's... Also a special episode, because I just found out a second ago that our editor, Josh, just got married. Josh, share with us how it happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got married a, a week ago. Um, my my now wife uh, proposed to me out of the blue oh my God. On, a, on a Tuesday, and then on Wednesday we went to the, the courthouse, got the license, you know, did all that stuff, and then, we, you know, you got to wait three days, so we waited three days, and... Uh, Previous guest of the show, Alicia, from episode one, right? What? Yeah, from one. Uh, two. Uh, uh, two. And yeah. she's also with her podcast. Oh, yeah, Murder Mur in the Rain. Yes. Yeah, which is the other show that I, that I work on. Yeah. So um, Alicia married us, and uh, Emily, the other co host, was uh, was one of the witnesses. And um, yeah, we got married on Sunday. So we, yeah, we went uh, it was five days from oh. proposal to uh, wedded bliss, and we're very happy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, things are, I mean, Wow, it's, it just it feels different. Too, yeah, it, you, know? you are you're a married person yeah, now. Yeah, it's just different. I feel like I'm in a different club. Yeah, than I was before. <laughs> <laughs> the married club. Yeah. Well, we're going to transition from bliss to um, a song that's about heartache. Oh yeah, that's a good, yeah. <laughs> that's a good segue. Uh, Macy Gray, I remember her from the '90s, late '90s, and I can't believe that her song "I Try." was back in 1999. Um, it says here, doing some research, it was actually released on September 27th, 1999. So um, outside of the United States, and I guess, and in North America on January 25th, 2000. So we're hitting huh. almost 19 years, I don't know, 19 years it now? It was released internationally before? Before. That's interesting, I wonder. Uh, yeah, I don't know why of, you know. Maybe to test them. Or marketability or something. So Europe, Europe is e I, easier yeah. going than the us in yeah. America. I mean, Jerry Lewis, right? <laughs> <laughs> the French love them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and I remembered her, you know, when she came out because of her voice, that gravelly kind of yeah. bluesy voice, Very and distinct. and I always thought she was related to what's that, guy? Lenny Kravitz, because I oh. thought they looked the same, they yeah. <laughs> and you never saw them in the same room together. Mm -hmm. So it's like, are they the same person? <laughs> Um, so it was a big hit. It was um, one of her biggest hits. I think it is her biggest hit uh, to date. And in um, a lot of you know Google sites, Wikipedia, it's peaked at number six in the United Kingdom, number five in the United States, and number one in Australia, New Zealand, and Ireland. So she definitely, I think you're right, they probably tested the waters outside of the yeah. U.S. And when they saw it was great, let's just release it. And at the uh, 2001 Grammy Awards for the song I Try, she actually won Best Female Pop Vocal Performance and was also nominated for Record of the Year and Song of the Year. Um, so let's see who she was up against. Yeah. Um, she was up against Christina Aguilera, What a Girl Wants. That was a good one. I remember that song. Madonna's Music. So that's pretty, yeah. pretty big. I think that was one of the last really great songs she had, right? Yeah, right? I know. Unfortunately. So, so yeah. <laughs> are you talking about... Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> um, a Madonna of fans don't hate us. No, no. Um, and then Amy Mann, Save Me. Oh, yeah. Joni Mitchell, Both Sides Now. Oh my God, that song. And then Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. And like I, was, I said, um, it remains Gray's biggest hit single in the U.S. to date and only her one to reach the top 40 of the Billboard Hot 100. So it's a pretty big um, song for her. But again, let's talk about what it's about. And um, the misheard lyric for me, before we go into did you know what the song was about, is there's a line where she says, though I try to hide it, it's clear. My world crumbles when you are not near. I have always thought she had sang, though I try to hide it, it's clear. I blow bubbles when you are not here. And it sounds just it, like yes. that. It really does. It really does. Uh, what did you think that meant? I don't know. It's like, you know, this that gal is so sad <laughs> that she just gets a little bubble thing. Oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literal. L literally. I, it is fun that, like, even from the, the episode we did with Alicia, that the we we conjure these things and we're like, that makes sense. And it's always very literal. It's like the cross-eyed bear. The cross-eyed bear. It's a physical thing. Yeah, it's really great. But yeah, yeah. And, well, and so let's talk about what the song is about. I mean, um, what did you think the song was about? You know, I, you know, I, <clears throat> 
to be honest, I, I haven't really heard it that much. I feel ah. like I'm very familiar with it. It's okay. very, you know, it's a very popular it's song. It's like, I but, try, oh, yeah. you know, that very yeah. bluesy kind of. So I've definitely heard it, but um, it wasn't like the kind of type of music that I really listened right. to or, or anything. So, but um, yeah, I actually, I, I didn't know what it was about until, until now. Now. I started to do research for the, yeah, that's a, it's not a. Not a happy song. No, it's yeah. a sad song. And yeah. that specific line itself, though I try to hide it's clear, my world crumbles. So um, she was actually married with a, an individual. His name was Tracy Hines. Um, he was, I think at that time, a mortgage broker. And she was a secretary. And wow. that was her boyfriend. And so um, they had three children together. But the sad part was they split up just as she hit her her stride with the solo deal with Epic Records. Um, and then many of the songs that Gray wrote for her first album was about Hines, her ex-husband, including I Try, where she explains that she wants to be strong and leave his memory behind but can't bring herself to do so. So, I mean, that is a lyric, a feeling that we all oh, yeah. have gone through. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm seeing someone that you love dearly and you just crumble. Um, in my, my world, I thought blowing bubbles would help. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> Give it a shot. We, we, and, you know, whoever's listening, if you if you're heartbroken, blow a bubble. Exactly. And so the funny uh, thing is, she you know she wrote this this success till the cows come home. So she won for best new artist in a video at the 2000 MTV Video Music Award. She actually beat out Christina Aguilera, Pink. Who's the third person? Ooh. <laughs> the time. At the time. So 2000. Christine Aguilera, Pink, but the third one I didn't would have never known. I, w I was gonna say Britney, Britney Spears again, but I would exactly no Papa Roach. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was that time. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I get it. I love Papa Roach very much. <laughs> yeah, yes, very, very much. I, I was that nineteen two thousand. Two thousand. It was yeah. definitely of those years. Those two years, probably the most spun CD that I had. Oh my gosh! It went. Uh, yeah, it was in my car. It was at my house. I loved. Papa Roach. Is Papa Roach still with us? I believe they are. Okay. I think they are. I think they're. I think they're still touring. Okay. Um, but yeah, that that album is great. Okay. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen years later. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, that's who she won wow. best new artist in the video. And then the interesting thing is, the year later, for the two thousand one MTV Video Music Awards, she came in. In this famous dress, I don't know if you remember the picture. Is it white? No, it's like a hot pink blue, hot pink a lacy top that's connected to like a mermaid blue dress, and on the bottom part of the dress, I quote, it was written, "My new album drops September 18, 2001," and on the back part on her derriere, it mm -hmm. said, "Buy it." <laughs> now that was before social media. Yeah. So, hey, she's like, I'm going to be on the red carpet. I'm going to get photographed many times over. Might as well wear, you know, wear, you know, when my, my album drops. I wonder if she was the first person. Did anyone else ever do that? No. Like a t-shirt? Like, I don't think yeah, so. That's smart. I mean, I know that R.E.M., the lead singer, would always wear those different t-shirts of political statements. Oh, right. And every time he was at some award show he'd take off and there would be a t-shirt under a t-shirt. It's like one of those <laughs> Russian dolls yes. and you just keep. But that's, I think. Macy Gray is the first person I know that has done, you know, again, before social media. Yeah. But um, just let's talk about kind of where she's from. She uh, is, they say, an American R&B, soul singer, songwriter, musician, record producer, and actress. I, I've never I've never seen anything she's acted in. Oh, so. she's, uh, she was, well, the one thing I can think of okay. was, um, Training Day. She was in Training Day. Oh, she was in Training yeah, she Day. Yeah, a little part in there where she's, uh, she, there, yeah, she gets served a fake warrant by Denzel and Ethan Hawke. And very then, good. She's great in that. I mean, she's very memorable in that role to me. I love her. Well, and I... Her, it's her performance and her, it is her voice. It's her voice. Her voice is so iconic and, and uh, yeah. I think, she, I think yeah. she needs to do more voiceover work I love that. because <laughs> everyone knows who her voice is. And then the song itself, I Try, is actually co-written and recorded by her and an American musician. Um, let's see. Hold on. I Try is a song co-written and recorded by American musician Macy Gray. Gray wrote all the lyrics but worked on the music with a Jerry Razumna. Jin Su Lim and David Wilder. Razumna also played organ on the track. Wilder played bass. But it sounds like she did all the lyrics. So this is definitely from her life yeah. and dealing with the heartache of her um, then husband at the time. And the sad thing is he wasn't able to enjoy the success of yeah. it. 
but it seems like like I know with her and Adele and others uh, we just talked about Alanis Morissette the last one it seems like the albums they had of real bad heartbreak is what they made the most success, yeah. success with and when they fall in love yeah it's not as not as great yeah when they yeah when they have to set fire to the rain that's when yeah that's that's yeah the heat yeah there's nothing very uh yeah uh angry about like loving your children or anything <laughs> um so i'm curious to see have you i I'm, i need to check and see if there's any new songs that i know she, throughout the year she's been trying to do comebacks mm -hmm. but nothing i've seen to this commercial success yeah. that we saw in 2000 for her um but again known for her raspy voice sing style heavily influenced by billy holiday i could hear Absolutely. that but i would love to see her do probably more um like I said, voiceovers because of her very unique voice. Yeah. I wonder, you know, her style to me, she always seemed like someone who might be um, like introverted or something, or shy or yes. quiet or something. Yes. And I wonder if maybe that, if, I wonder if she had a struggle to like continue going forward. It, it seems like it'd be very hard for someone who's shy. Well, I think, you're, I think <laughs> you're right because even in the way her video was done, it felt like to me that back in the day, 2000, you know, the execs were like, this is how we want you to do the video. Right. And she's like, okay, it's not really me. It's, it felt like it wasn't mm -hmm. kind of maybe the vision she wanted, but yeah. you know, you as a new artist, you're, you're going to do whatever the, you know, oh, the, yeah. the record whoever's, label whoever's set and who's paying chance. for everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, have, I wonder if she is like an introvert in this. Yeah. She, her, her perform yeah, she always seemed in, like an internal person to me, even her singing stuff. Her, her yeah. She don't, posture, yeah, she she, inside, yeah. Exactly. Cur like, kind of curled in towards herself a little bit. Yes. It's like, almost like she's singing to herself. Even yes. when she's on a stage. Yeah. Yes. Which is interesting. No, it's interesting. Yeah. But hey, I, I mean, I, I remember the song when it came oh, out yeah. and how sad it was. So yeah, I'm hoping we'll, we'll see her more and she might pop up again with an, another cool dress. That's like, Hey, I'm back. <laughs> you know, my new album, yeah. you know, well, Missy Elliott just, uh, reappeared yeah. on the VMAs like I didn't see it but apparently blew everybody away well she is um, having a moment too because yeah. she was you know she did that I think she appeared with Lady Gaga mm -hmm. at the Super Bowl I think oh, yeah, she, and like and she's looking great yep. and she lost a lot of weight mm -hmm. I know there were some health problems there she's been overcoming so oh, is that, okay. yeah but because I didn't even recognize her is that why she likes kind of step back I I think so oh, I could be wrong sorry Miss yeah. Elliott I mean if you and your people let us know, yeah. you know, let us know in comments or give us a call. But yeah, so I'm loving this. I'm loving seeing these 90s, mid to late 90s yeah. acts that I love coming back. Yeah, it's like we're cool again. You and me are cool again. <laughs> <laughs> what about Papa Roach? I'm. You know what? I'm going to do, I'll do some research. And you know what? I'm going to listen to that album and see if there's anything that I've misheard. Because I seriously think I know the whole you know, debut album of theirs, so. Uh, can you, because I'll be honest, I, I, I heard a Papa Roach, I don't yeah. even know what a Papa Roach song would be. What's, you know, like, what are they known? It's, I guess it would be more, it's sort of like a lighter rap rock. Okay. New metal, you know, like, like, <laughs> Limp Biscuit, but not as, not gross, I Okay, guess. okay, yeah. not gross. Yeah. But nothing like, um, what's his name? Uh, I wouldn't say the rap, but nothing like, who, Chad Kroger. No, no. I would, oh, I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so, no. More of an edge, but probably probably not much of one. <laughs> um, Chad Kroger, what's, what's the name of that band? Oh, Nickelback. Nickelback. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. I just have this thing against Nickelback. Yeah, yeah. You are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'm trying to think of anything else. So yeah, uh, Macy Gray, we would love to hear from you. Um, and I'm hoping that you pop up one one way or another, um, yeah. especially with the, all Netflix and everything. There might be a documentary. Sure, yeah, I would watch that for sure. You never know. Yeah. I feel like she'd be a very interesting person to hear from. Absolutely. Yeah. And then just to yeah. see who her kids are, because she has these grown kids now, too. Yeah. And I know for a bit, I saw, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I swore there was like a, I don't know if it was just a one show thing, but there was some kind of like reality show of her. I can't remember if it was like a weekly thing or they were just like checking in with all these different singers where they live, but mm -hmm. she was an interesting gal. I kind of remember a show like that. Yeah. Where they, where they were going back to, to talk to, to artists or something. Yeah. 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 So there we go. Miss Gray. We miss you. <laughs> we miss you. And congratulations again, Josh, and your oh, um, thank lo you. yes. lovely wife. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Robin is uh, a treasure. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> all right. Are we... Okay. All right. So let's do the, the song part. I have that. Oh, you do have that. So we're good. We don't yes. have to do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm trying to think if we need anything else, yeah, but I think we're good. Other... I'm trying to think of... There's not a lot... I mean, I couldn't to pull up that show because I did want to talk about Because I swore I saw a show. Oh, the Macy Grace? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was her own show. 
Macy Gray reality show. Let's look at that. Da, da, da. Wow, it shows that. Uh, are we still hot? Yes, uh, yes. Perfect. Her net worth, at least via Wikipedia, $20 million. Wow. And she has three children. Um, I, Anissa Hines, daughter, Tamel Hines, and Happy Hines. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprising uh, number to hear the, the net worth. I, yeah. I wouldn't tw think that. $20 million. As of, And it says here, as of 2018. Now, again, this is from, I believe, Wikipedia. So we're going by what you know they have. But I think it's interesting. Yeah. She hasn't squandered. Yeah, that, I mean that's yeah. I'm always so happy to hear that when I when I'm somehow check in with like a celebrity and artist and I'm like, okay, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. <laughs> they're doing fine. Yeah. And she was born in 1967, so she's 51, right? Oh, her wow. birth her birthday's coming up on September 6, and she's six oh. feet tall. Did you know that? I had a few. I kind of knew that she was tall. I didn't know she was that tall. That's a uh, that's tall. That's a tall lady. Wow. Good for her. Wow. She must have been. It must have been very difficult for executives to deal with that you know? I, i'm thinking too because yeah. like where do we place you you're not a beyonce yeah. you're not you know uh at that time it was um i can see her right now um what is her name tony braxton all oh, right so that's her contemporaries yeah. there so you're right it's like where do we put yeah. you because she's not a dancer at all right no she's just a singer yeah. yes yeah. I'm not just, just a, singer. a singer but yes <laughs> she yeah does not do like the whole yeah yeah the triple organized. triple threat yeah. so yeah i didn't realize that she was that tall yeah, it must have been hard. yeah i can't put her in a box no way <laughs> I mean, a big box. A big <laughs> box. box. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. I'm looking at her IMDb. Let's just look here really yeah. fast. She's from Canton, Ohio. And let's see. You said she was in Training Day. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at that. Well, she's done several movies, actually. Training Day. There must be a connection with her and Denzel because she also did the soundtrack for Denzel's movie in 2006 for Deja Vu. Oh. And oh. it shows she did the soundtrack for that. And then she was in a couple movies, Domino. 2005 and the paper boy in 2012 so she's keeping herself busy Good for her and you know i think it's there it's her voice though i mean she has a very unique voice yeah Can't think of anything else smoky <laughs> smoky raspy yeah six foot though wow let me just look really fast because i if you remember seeing a tv show i don't think i made it up yeah something like that. yeah i definitely do remember that TV show at home. Let's look. Well, I can't find it, but I swore I'd seen it. I don't think I made it up. Okay. Macy Gray. Okay. That's Goodbye. Okay. <laughs>